example number one the boy is my friend this sentence has two noun phrases actually we have the boy we have my friend this has this is not so complex because we have a modifier here this is the head we are talking about the main word and then here we have a modifier and then a head this modifier is an article and then the head is a noun that we said why is it a main word because if you look at this sentence what you have we can decide to remove the and boy will remain and there will still be some level of meaning derived from the sentence but if we remove boy for example from this now the meaning will be lost for example if we remove boy so that it breathes the is my friend it's meaningless now the same way too if we remove friend from here from this noun phrase so that we have the boy is mine it will be meaningless except if we make this mine that is a possessive adjective to become a, pos a possessive pronoun because a, po a possessive pronoun replaces the noun friend and then there will be no problem but we can't leave the my there and remove friend it will be grammatically, it will be semantically uh, wrong, it will also be grammatically wrong. There will be no meaning. The boy is mine. So, that is the point. Uh, and if you say D is mine, D is my friend, meaningless as well. So, but if we take the, the head, for example, and remove the V, let's try it. Boy is my friend. There's meaning. You can, have, you, you can know that there's meaning. So, the meaning is still derivable. What is wrong there is a grammar. There is supposed to be an article coming before the noun boy. That is it. Friend. It's just that the meaning may be a bit skewed, may, be, um, may, not, may, may no longer be clear, it could be ambiguous. Which is it? Are you saying the boy is friend to everybody or your friend and all that? So but the meaning will be there to some level. That is why we consider boy and head as a uh, boy and friend as heads of the noun phrases which means that they are the main words all right having looked at that we can take other examples now to show some level of complexity then we we'll take example two we we'll take example two the tall clever boy is here all right now here we have some level of complexity uh, but not still so much we'll take this now we have m article m adjective m adjective and then our head so we have three modifiers coming before the head boy that is the point so the complexity has increased but it remains the same now it remains the same now now we we'll move on to example three the tall clever boy in the room is Plan. The whole of this sentence actually, the whole of this sentence actually has uh, the talk clever boy in the room as its subject. From this point to this point is subject. Then, of course, this is your verb and this is a complement. Now, so you can see the complexity there. In this case, we have M. M, M, then we have an H. Then after the H, we have what we call a post modifier or a, qual a qualifier. It, the post modifier is actually the same thing as qualifier, while the pre modifiers are simply called modifiers. So, the qualifier this time is a prepositional phrase. 
a prepositional PPH, a prepositional phrase. That is what it is. Now, interestingly, we can go a little bit further to look at this structure. Don't get confused. I'll move to the other side and look at this structure. I'll take uh, center three further and look at it so that you can see the operation that can occur. And you don't need to get confused. Now, this is already a complex uh, noun phrase. So, the talk clever boy in the room is clever. After the head here, you have a qualifier. And this qualifier is made up of not just one word. It has in, it has the, it has room. So we can further analyze it if we want to. So I will look at the after the head of the subject.